Welcome back to the Ultimate Sorcerer's Guide, everyone. Now, as you can see, I'm here back in Strade's cell because in the last episode, I made a mistake. You cannot actually find a great magic weapon or great magic shield later in the game. I was confusing it with great magic weapon or strong magic weapon, whatever it's called. So we do need to buy it from him, which isn't too much of a big deal we can just get it and it's all good all right I think what I'm going to do is show off this spell now I don't know if I'm well not here though I'm gonna go back to Majula I'm not sure if I'm ever actually going to use this thing the problem with it is you need to have your catalyst in your right hand in order to use strong magic shield which means you have to have either two catalysts or give up uh, weapon enchantments or just constantly switch around which is kind of annoying but yeah I'll show it off for now and maybe there will be situations where I'm going to use it it's not bad it's not a bad spell it's just kind of inconvenient alright what we need to do is this and yeah, this is what it looks like. Makes your shield go, go blue. And I think it's gonna be more resistant to magic attacks. I'm assuming if you're fighting like someone using a lot of spells online, this is a useful spell to have. Plus, um, if you get hit, you also take less stamina damage from your shield. And another spell I don't know if I picked up is Yearn. No, I don't have Yearn yet, so we might as well go and get it from Karelian, because that's also a spell that I might want to look at. Oh, there you are. Do you seek my teachings? Yes, I do. All right, let's see if I have enough souls for this. Yes, I do. Yearn is essentially like Oral Decoy, except it works a little differently. Wait, I'm going to switch my items back before I forget and like screw something up alright we are going to tune it I will show it off somewhere um, let's travel to Huntsman's Coves if I can actually find it there we go I show this spell off right here um, so yeah it's kind of like oral decoy it creates like an orb and enemies will be attracted to the orb. Not all enemies, but some of them will be. Basically, if an enemy is affected by Alluring Skull, they'll also be affected by Yearn. So it can be useful. Again, the problem with some of these spells is they're useful, but they're not worth sacrificing an attunement slot for, which are pretty scarce, especially here, like, earlier in the game. So let's see. If I go like this. As you can see, they are. I wonder if he'll walk off the edge. No, it's not gonna do that. But yeah, this can be pretty useful, as you can see. It doesn't last for long, but you can obviously equip the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring to extend its use. I wonder if this guy will be affected by it. Yes, he will. Well, that's actually pretty convenient. Alright. If it works on the skeletons in the cave here, which I'm gonna have to go to, then that's gonna be pretty pretty good. Alright, wait a second. I know there's one more butterfly somewhere. Just trying to figure out where it is. Okay, we can kill this guy while we're... Oops. Yeah, I have my catalyst equipped. Good thing I managed to like cancel out the animation. And I get the full moon sickle. Which is obviously a weapon I'm not going to use on this character. Alright, there we go. Oh, shit. I heard there was something around and... Come on, switch your weapons. Yeah, I definitely cannot 
attack with my binoculars. That wouldn't work. Okay. You know what? If he's not gonna aggro, uh, he will aggro, won't he? Well, we can always backstab him. Good. Good. I'm gonna get to... I'll definitely get to the Skeleton Lords. And probably beyond that, I think I'll get to Earthen Peak in this episode. Skeleton Lords... Oh, shit. These guys are actually pretty clever. They do flank you. Alright, let's see if we can... Bam. And you're dead. Alright, and if we go in here, there will be an ambush. An ambush that we can anticipate. I don't know, is the bridge lowered? No, it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower it. And then we'll move on from there. This is really not a difficult area. It looks very cool. Probably one of my favorite areas in the game. Although I say that to for a lot of places. There are lots of good environments in this game. I don't know, I just love the skybox for this thing. And the undead purgatory up there. And that bridge. So cool. Alright, we won't be able to access this bonfire at this point. But we will be able to go into this cave. Like I said, if Yearn works against these skeletons... That's going to be very helpful. Oh shit, curse pot. My curse resistance seems to be decent actually, which makes me wonder. Probably something I have increases my curse resistance. There's a magic mace over there. Uh, magic weapons do scale with int. But the mace has a strength requirement that I don't have. wonder if... yes, it does work. That's very convenient. Because I can just go ahead and do this. Hey, Yearn is actually pretty good. Shouldn't underestimate the spell. Although, Oral Decoy was a pretty good spell too. Again, that was something that people never really used uh, in the game. But it worked on Capra Demon, which made the fight a lot easier believe me now the thing about these guys is I wanna use where is it there it is these wizards or sorcerers or whatever these things are they do have a staff to drop now there are two kinds of these wizards and I think these ones drop the bat staff or whatever it's called oh shit of course there is no entrance here I'm an idiot just managed to waste a uh, monastery charm. Or not monastery charm. You know what. Luck increasing coin. That's what I'm going to call it. But basically, these enemies, or these wizards, only show up here. Oh, that guy just fell off. Only show up here and inside the executioner chariot boss room. And they have an extremely low chance of dro dropping a staff. Which means it's going to be very annoying to get to. But I'm going to check because the staff they drop might be like a hex, hex staff. And if it is, I'm not going to pick up right... God damn it. Playing and talking doesn't really work today. Okay, good. So I have a feeling that the staff they drop is more for hexes. And if it is, I'm going to save it until the hex guide. Because obviously, like you saw before with the bone staff, there are certain catalysts that work better with hexes and some work better with sorceries. The same with chimes too. Because let me tell you, that thing is very annoying to get. Mainly because you essentially have four enemies to drop it, that can drop it, and two of those enemies don't respawn. Because the necromancers in here don't actually respawn. If that confused the hell out of you, then I'm sorry. 
Oh, come on. That was like the luckiest shot ever. Nearly killed me too. Alright, is this the key? Yes, it is. Might as well kill the invading phantom while I'm at it. And there should be a guy right up here. Unless he's already dead. Which might be the case. Oh no, there he is. I can just do this. Okay. So the thing about homing soul arrow is that it's a little weaker. Alright, we're going to buff up our weapon. This phantom is not really a big deal. wonder if Yearn works on them. No, obviously not. I don't know what I was expecting. Hey, I was expecting a bit more damage. There's no escape for me. Don't even think about it. Yeah, phantoms are a little better at reacting to um, sorceries. By the way, the weapon she uses, or he, I don't know, he uses is the weapon you get for trading the uh, Vorlock mask. Now, this is something I haven't seen before. Increases number of soul acquired, souls acquired. Strange mask worn by an Aldean Warlocks. Grants dark defense and increased soul acqu acquisition. Warlocks in Al Aldea gave rise to wicked things and even cast forbidden rituals upon themselves. No one knows if they were born mad or if their own misdeeds drove them over the edge. That looks awesome. Honestly, I've never seen this thing before. I didn't even know it exists. But you know what? I have it. It looks cool. It's gonna look really cool with the... Well, this kind of looks okay. It can be like kind of like a goat wizard or something. I'm liking this a lot. That was pure luck. Maybe it was because I had the luck coin. But hey, there it is. Not gonna fight the skeleton lords yet. But I will go back here and kill the other necromancer. I just wasted my last yarn, which was probably a mistake. Oh shit. No, 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 no. No, these guys are not going to kill me. Get one down. Come on. Are you serious? God damn, stupid tracking on the lock on to him. Yeah, there we go. It did drop. No, it didn't. Come on. No. Don't know why I'm doing so badly. And I'm dead. Shit, that was <laughs> really, really shitty. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, whatever. The wizard is dead. Or necromancer is dead. So it doesn't really matter. And it didn't drop anything. If it had dropped something and I lost it, I would have been pissed. But whatever. We can unlock the bonfire now. Might as well do it. And then I'll go straight to the skeleton lords. They might be a little problem. Mainly because I always forget which one of them is the one that summons the will skeletons. It's either the one with the halberd or the one with the catalyst. Going through this area again is not a big deal, mainly because all you end up doing is picking up more poison mosses, which are going to help you in Earthen Peak and the gutter and places like that. Ah, f screw the other one. He's going to head straight to the bonfire and rescue. Craton of Mira. Like I said, I'm trying to do that quest line. It's actually not one of the more difficult ones. Essentially, all you have to do is 
complete like the two quests for patches and talk to Creighton when whenever you see him basically. Oh hey, you're following me? I hate how quick these guys are. There's like literally no way to react to them. Cause they get their attacks out so quickly. It's not even funny. Alright, let's light the bonfire here. Sub Creighton. I thought you had bastard for a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheeky prick. I am Creighton of Mira. Got her distance. Alright, Creighton. Yeah, we know what he has to say. I decided to set You be kept. Yeah, Bait is an asshole, we know that. But you're an asshole too. You're gonna see why. Alright, we can learn the fist bump gesture. Alright. What the hell? This guy followed me all the way over here. That's determination. Alright, let's get rid of Yearn and put a heavy soul arrow back. I'm gonna go through the cave, mainly because it's easier now that the skeletons have died. Plus my Oh, but I didn't get to the door, did I? Still. By the way, the curse spot here is a lot slower, I think, than in the forest. Or shaded woods. What? Come on. Sometimes the rapier does have kind of like bad tracking. It's not like a major problem. Only happens once in a while. I don't want to save my... Um, Assist flasks for the actual boss fight. Oops. Shit, I thought I would avoid that. But I guess not. I can use a couple of spells. Oh, yeah. This guy's in here too. It's interesting that once they start that attack chain, you cannot actually interrupt them. Because they don't really have any poise. So it's kind of weird. Ah well. I use one more. That's it. I still go into the cave and retrieve my souls. But yeah, I was didn't finish that train of thought. I'm planning to pick up the uh, skeleton lord set from Tichy Gren once we get to the purgatory, and that set is probably gonna look really good with this goat helmet. I've never, like I said, this helmet is new to me. I've never seen it before. Alright, you're dead. Better get used to fighting the... Shit. Better get used to fighting these guys anyways. Alright. Just wasted a bunch of life gems, but it doesn't matter. Combustion and Titanite shards. I need large Titanite shards. Shit. And just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna kill this guy and open the shortcut. Plus, pick up three flame butterflies. Alluring skull. Although, I th do think that this helmet would probably look better on my hex build that I'm going to make eventually. Yeah. All right, let's get going here. I'm gonna first of all, you know what? what? I'm going to do is this. I'll do this. Use another life gem just to top my HP off, and then I'm gonna switch this out for the lingering dragon crest ring, just to show off what it does. Because it's going to make magic weapon last a lot longer. Okay, let's get going here. Just got to kill the right ones. I know the one over here. This one is safe to kill. Damn it. Shit. Thought I had enough stamina for one more hit. Alright, one down. 
we can weaken these guys actually, just not kill them. Alright, come on you assholes. Oh shit. <laughs> not dealing as much damage as I thought they would be. Oh! Damn it. Fuck, they killed me? Seriously? Shit. Yeah, they were... Yeah, my... I know what my mistake was. I let them get all bunched up together. The only reason I died is because... Both the skeletons hit me and the smaller skeletons got hit into... That just got... Like, all piled up together. Oh well, now that the way is unlocked through the cave, it should take like a minute for me to get back, not even that. Alright. I'm just gonna sprint here. N it's not worth cutting it out, because this journey is like nothing. They are really easy though, the skeleton lords. Just got a little careless and overconfident, which does happen often for me. One, there you go. Really don't want to get cursed. Oh yeah, there are a ton of these guys around. Again, I hate how these moves are instant. Like, there's no way to... Once they start... What? Fuck it. Don't normally use uh, Radiant Life Gems, but I use one. Because I'm like not doing well for some reason. Screw you. Oh shit, probably should have let my stamina recharge. Alright, you're dead. And you're dead too. Wonder what's the difference in souls I get from these skeletons. So here I pick up 112. Oh, but I killed all of them already, didn't I? Yes, I did. Ah, well. I will put this thing back on. Getting more souls from the boss should be pretty good. But the problem with this thing is it's a little heavy. Ah, well, it shouldn't matter too much. Don't need to do a lot of dodging in this fight anyways. I do deal more damage with the Leo Ring when it's active. Alright, one down. Just gotta like keep them separate. So like I said, I can weaken them. Oops, just not get hit. Alright, here they come. These are the assholes that killed me. Yeah, they deal. <laughs> they actually deal more damage than the skeleton lords, which is. I should don't. What? What was that? Fucking hell! This is like all falling apart. Shit. I'm sorry about that. I wonder if it's possible to sprint through. Probably a bad idea, but we'll try it right now. Ah. <sighs> This is gonna be the one, isn't it? There's always there's one in each Dark Souls playthrough, like a boss that is supposed to be extremely easy, yet I have trouble with it. On my Dex character, it was the two Dragon Riders in Dragon Lake Castle. I just died like four times to them, which really shouldn't happen. Ah well. I think it might actually be possible to sprint through. Just gonna... Come on, run, you idiot. Okay. Taking some damage here, but nothing... Nothing major. These guys are not the smartest, so... That can be used to my advantage. So I'll just get this out. Don't know if they follow you out of the cave. Doesn't look like they do. Alright. Let's go. 
and actually win this time. This is gonna be a bit of a lengthier episode. It's because of these motherfuckers. Screw them. Alright, one down. Three and a bunch of skeletons to go. I'm gonna pick up my souls, what is it like? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's 12,000. I was gonna say it's nothing, but then it's not nothing. I could actually just... Why am I not using my spells? That's a question. Alright, get out. Heal up. Oops, not the guy I wanted to hit, but whatever. Yeah, my rolls are doing... I do have less iframes because of the... What you call it? Because of this helmet. And, uh, it is a little weighty. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's, sh There should be one more around. Where is he? And this is where I'm probably going to screw up and kill the wrong skeleton. Actually, I think the one with the staff is not the one that summons the bone wheels. And if it is, then let's prepare for another death. Uh, was I right or was I wrong? See how long that magic weapon lasted? That is the effect of the good old dragon crest ring. Oh no, I screwed up. Yes, maybe I didn't screw up. Oh yeah, yeah, I definitely did. Fuck these guys. I hate them so much. Worst enemy <laughs> ever conceived. Maybe I can use my spells. Oh, they're so fucking fast. If I actually survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd end up killing the wrong one. Where the fuck are you? There you are. Yes, one dead. Holy shit, I actually survived. Okay, all I gotta do is not die to this one here. Which shouldn't be a problem because I can just use my spells. Alright. We're in the clear. I'm gonna use magic weapon once again. But I'm not afraid to, like, use up the rest of my spells for these assholes. Holy shit. I, I knew that was gonna happen. I'll end up killing the wrong one. Alright, let's not die here. Bam. Alright, these guys are done for. And... Goodbye. Whew. That was actually a bit more difficult than I expected it to be. Yeah, didn't expect to die at all, but I did. It's no big deal. Still got through, and we're moving on to Earth and Peak. Alright, this episode is pretty lengthy enough as it is, so I'm going to wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Ultimate Sorcerer Guide. Picked up quite a few spells and equipment here today. I don't know if I should count this Warlock Helmet as um, Warlock Helmet as Sorcerer Equipment. Probably not gonna, because all it does is increases your souls. So yeah, gonna end it here. See all of you next time. Goodbye.